The idea of starting Yeshiva Torres Chaim originated 40 years ago in my living room with myself, my wife, and Rabbi Chait. A group of very dedicated lay leaders wanted to see an additional source of Torah in the community. The mission was to have a standard yeshiva similar to the yeshivas in New York, where boys can grow in their Yiddishkeit and their learning, and at the same time have a great atmosphere and a great education. And it started in a small little shul in Mid-Beach in Carlisle Avenue. Rabbi Chait was the first one in. And I joined him the second year. We set up shop in a small little storefront on 41st Street in Miami Beach. The original class had eight students. Of those eight students, one of them was my brother, Chaim Yitzhak Eliyahu, and his best friend was Rabbi Shapiro. Yeshiva Torres MS at that time was a small struggling school, not affiliated with Torres Chaim at all. And Rabbi Che decided that it would be a good idea to merge the two schools together and have a elementary school as a feeder for the high school. Little by little, step by step, we started making inroads in the community. Some more families moved in. We were able to purchase our campus on 163rd Street. It was a conservative shul. We eventually purchased the North Campus, which is where we have the Shiva Gadoyla and the high school. And it's very impressive and very unbelievable how much progress the school has made since then. I don't think my friends and I understood how fortunate we were to have Rabbi Grumblad as an 11th grade Rebbe, Rabbi Naiman as a 12th grade Rebbe, Rabbi Chait as a Halacha Rebbe, Rabbi Mandel for Musar. And I can tell you it wasn't what they taught us that was the most important. It was how they made us feel. It was a very close-knit, small school. We were probably 20 kids in a class, one class per grade. And it was a very diverse crowd, but also very accepting and loving and everyone got along. The yeshiva took a young kid who didn't have a picture of what he wanted to become, what he wanted to accomplish. Through developing me and learning, they made someone who tries his best to live up to that, to give over that understanding of what life's about to his Talmudim. You may not see that transition in one day, but when you look back at the greater picture, you've gone from a child who's learning for pizza to someone who learns because you value that, that's the only thing you want in this world. They turn you into a Ben Teira, they turn you into a genuine Eved Hashem. Certainly, when we were building Yeshiva in the early days, we certainly did have an optimistic view that we would grow and we would develop, but we did not imagine how strong the Mosad would become. It's awe-inspiring. I don't think any of us ever dreamt that there would be multiple buildings and all the different programming and all the extracurriculars that they have. I'm so impressed with the quality of students that Torah Semes, Torah Chaim is producing. It is high caliber education. All the Rebbeim are very dedicated. They work hard. All the teachers are very dedicated, work hard. And it really gives me a lot, a lot of nachas to see how this school developed and what it became today. And you can see it in the boys and the girls that are in the school system, how full of their cherets and full of excitement and full of happiness they are attending the school. The other day, my four-year-old son in pre-K asked my wife if she went to the same school that he's going to. She said no and he said, you're so not lucky. I'm so lucky. I go to the best school. It's just a beautiful tapestry of everybody working together to put out the finest product that we could put out. It may change over the years. The buildings may look different, but that exclusive focus on doing the Ratz on Hashem, teaching his children, his Torah, in the way that his Talmidim learned it from their Rebbe, that's part of what we do every day. It's seeing the Rabbeim, seeing the role models, wanting to be like them, growing, and over time, the builds you up, it turns you into a Ben Torah for life. The family that Chaya and I raised is a direct correlation to the love and caring that the yeshiva put into me when I was a teenager here in school. Today I work for Agudas Yisrael of Florida. I'm constantly having interactions with government officials. I'm speaking on the Senate floor, on the House floor. These are skills, the English language skills that I learned at Yeshiva Torah Semes Torah Khan. I love that my children have the opportunity to attend the school that I went to, that my siblings went through, and we gained so many 
valuable relationships that are cherished till this day even. Their determination, their care, their depth of understanding, that's what started the yeshiva and that's what's still there in the old power. It gets stronger and stronger as the years go on. I can't wait to see what the next 40, 50 years looks like. You should continue to have success just as you have until now and we should continue to see much, much nachas, malda talmidim and talmidos, everybody who participates in the journey of Yeshiva Torah Chaim Torah Zemes. Thank you.